Hi, how's it going? My name is Chad Flowers. I'm one of the head trainers at Retro Fitness in Easton. What I'm going to describe to you and demonstrate in your office, we can do it any time. There's numerous workouts. One of them that I'm going to be demonstrating is the chair dips. What you're going to do is you're going to get down. You want to make sure that your legs are fully extended. You're going to make sure that your triceps are engaged and tight. What you're doing is you're going to control down 90 degrees, down, and then you're going to come up, squeeze and tighten your triceps to make sure all the blood flow is getting to them. And then you're going to come down again nice and easy to you have a little tension on your shoulders and back up. Now the best rep is you want to do is 10 to 12 times, maybe two to three sets. So there you go, you can try that out and see how that works out for you. The next uh, exercise I'm going to demonstrate is called the glute raise kickbacks. We're going to demonstrate it with the chair. Do it any time you're, when you're at work. We're just going to put your hands right here on the handles if you have handles. If not, you may substitute for a desk. What you're going to do is you're going to focus and make sure that your core is very tight and engaged. And then what you're going to do is you're going to alternate each leg back. You're going to bring it in to your chest and then proceed to kick it back and as high as you can, focusing on tightening that hamstring and your glute. Then you're going to bring it back down and relax. And then you're going to alternate the leg. Right one, and then kick back. You can go ahead and do 10 reps of those each for two sets. And that's it. All right, now what I'm going to demonstrate is an actual perfect push-up. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to come on your hands, shoulder width apart, you're going to come up on your toes, okay? You want to make sure that your core is very tight and engaged, and what you're going to do is you're going to bring everything down together, chest to the floor, and then bring your palms up off of the ground, and then bring everything up together, so it looks like this. Come down, everything together, hands come up off the ground, and then bring everything up together, keeping your core tight and pushing up. What you want to do is you want to hit about 10, 10 reps of those for two sets, now for the people that can't do a push-up, what we're going to do is we're going to start you off, you're going to go and proceed onto the knees, same thing, you're going to bring chest to the floor, nice and easy, hands come up, and then come back up onto the knee. Okay, again, 10 to 12 reps for two sets. Next exercise that I'm going to demonstrate is called the squat. We want to make sure that your shoulder width apart with your legs, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to bend down, your knees don't go past your toes. You want to make sure that your back is straight. If you have a logo on your shirt, you want to be able to see that. So try and see if you can find a mirror. If not, try and see if you can find a partner to make sure that you're doing it properly. Okay, shoulder width apart, hands to the side. You're going to squat down, keep your back straight, and then explode coming up on your heels and back up. What you want to do is you want to do that about 10 times. I'm going to switch to the side. I'm going to show you how it looks so you can see that my back is straight and that my butt is out. Okay, you're going to come down. Nice, easy squat and back up. Okay, that's it for the squat today. If you have any questions, come down and check out Retro Fitness in Easton.